good morning everyone uh today is september 10th friday uh we took the day off of work because we are going up in a hot air balloon for the sunrise and time wise it is currently 5 26 a.m so we're gonna go to tim hortons like per per usual and we're gonna get some coffee and a bagel yeah and then we'll uh We'll video from there and there's rose you can say hi hi there we go <laughs> i i want to go back to sleep <laughs> no no we're not nap later yes yes nap mm -hmm. after after all of this yes <laughs> nebula hi nebula i love you so much i love when you love me this is like my favorite. Hi, Nevers. Hi, Cortez. What you doing? Hi, Cortez. She wants to be left alone. Yeah, she does. Rose. Hi. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Out to the car we go. It is, uh, it's fucking dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's a bit, uh, bit dark out here. It's... 5.30. We're gonna get in the car. Right? Right. Alright, we're getting in the car. Alright, so we just got uh, Tim Hortons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that fucking... We, we got bagels. 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 We got some bagels. Uh, and we've got about half an hour drive, right? Uh, yeah, 30 minute drive to get where we're going. Um, we're going to be taking off near an airport is where the balloon will be lifting off from. So I won't be able to use the drone because it's an airport and you can't fly near airports. So, yeah. But we're going to be heading that way and we'll go from there. Is Rose excited? Rose is excited, but Rose tired, so you can't see the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> we got to the airport. Uh... And we are lining up the cars now because we've got to go a couple miles down the road. Since the wind is traveling south, they don't want to launch from the airport itself. Uh, because of how we'll drift. So, we are lining up the cars to head that way. And the guy was telling us that they're going to be sending up three balloons today. So we'll actually get some views of other balloons, which is kind of cool. Fuck off, Jeep. Mar. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So we're just going to head that way now. Getting worse. You're not recording right now, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> Here, let's, let's turn so we can light our faces. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. <laughs> that is a lot better. <laughs> Rose is scared. Yeah. We just got here to the field. Um, we're in a Honda parking lot. So, Honda dealership. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be fun. pictures of her in the blue, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I got yeah. our basket. You I excited, Mom? Oh, honey. <laughs> this, I could hardly sleep last night. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Rose? This is something I'm you excited?
it's starting to go vertical. Oh. <laughs> This is 105,000. Okay. Yep, yeah, looks like it. 105 basketball. 105,000 basketball. Okay, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. That gives you a real you did a measure there. All right, Dorothy, here we come. Right. Bye. <laughs> Let's go find Toto. Let's go find Toto. <laughs> Up and away, as they say. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This is fun already. Uh, right, yeah, thanks, uh, the tether rope, what'd you get? <laughs> oh, this is cool as shit. Up oh and away. <laughs> hey, we're gonna pass over the car. Goodbye, see you soon. Adios, Mary Mel. Thanks, Amy. Alright, thank you. So the way that hot air ballooning works is you have different layers of wind going in different directions at different altitudes at different speeds. What I have control over is going up and down between the different layers of wind. Right. That's how I got the board. Well, welcome aboard, everybody.
usually go the dam part, and the dam part, like, you're at the top, and then you can see everybody, and it's beautiful, but it's, yeah. There's different parts of it, though, so I don't know, what, what part of the city does she want to be in for that? For what? To, to go the dam part. Uh, up in Polaris. Up Polaris. Yeah. Oh, and that's Polaris. also where Giordano's is. Yes. I feel like I know, like... <laughs> Sorry, you have my voice. I, I, I don't care. Talking. Look, I can mute you guys. <laughs> 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 and send it till you mute it. Just add some, <laughs> just add some music as a backdrop. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, it's a little classical, something mm -hmm. serene. Yeah. It'll be boring if we're out there talking. Great. I'm so happy. This is totally <laughs> different Stop. than what I was soybean, expecting. Me too. Grass, soybean, I'm, grass. They made like I'm a stripe. All the other things where you're it's, high, yeah, and if, if you weren't up here, you wouldn't know that. Like, it's so enclosed, it doesn't. Yeah. No. That's what I told you. <laughs> So how did you hear? How did you hear about this? Because I had one of the guys at work ask me. No, I've always wanted to do it. So I just typed in on Yahoo. I said, you know, balloon flights near me, and it came up with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you contacted me. Yeah. She still uses Yahoo. We don't talk about that. What? What? Nothing. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> We don't discriminate There's when it comes. There's a road down in there. Yeah, but we'll, we, uh, with landings, we'll take whatever we can get. Uh, sides of roads. <laughs> Backyards, front yard. There's paths right there. There's all kinds of How they like it. <laughs> after these oh, trees, hi. there might be a right. spot after these trees, so we'll see. Getting ready for landing. Yeah, prepare for landing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a picture of Grandpa and the baby together. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> oh, watch out, they're moving him. <laughs> All right, see you guys. All right, bye. <laughs> Watch out for the thing. Oh yeah, I'm, I almost got hit by it. <laughs> That's a peach tree there. Had, had about seven baby peaches, but the deer ate them. Oh <laughs> yeah, the deer are awful. I love deer out here. I won't let nobody hunt my land back here. They gotta have a safe place. Yeah. You know, they're yeah. entitled to live. Yeah. I don't hunt. I had to do my crap in the service and I I got out, I said, I'll never know hurt, hurt nothing else unless it's self-defense. That was enough. That is so cool. I've watched the balloon fest, but I never got up close to one. How high did you guys get up? Uh, a mile. 4,000 feet. Over a oh, mile. Shit. Yeah. yeah. I thought it might have been that high. It was either, when it got higher. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. They, they took you way high, and then they bring you down and skin you along the ground, and then back. Oh, there, back up. If, uh, if I could get your help yep. one more time, um, what we're going to do. That's yeah, like flying an albatross. <laughs> in the back of it. I just mowed the grass the week last week. The rain is just. Oh, we're chowing down. Chowing down. Go for it. Dumb need all they want. The less grass I got to mow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Go yeah, no. yeah. Oh. Do what you gotta do. Exactly. So, I'll tell you a little story about the history of ballooning if you like. I do it after every flight. Uh, basically in the late 1700s over in Paris, France, there were these two brothers called the Magoffier brothers and they were hanging out in their backyard one day and they observed this smoke rising off in the distance and they thought to themselves, hey, I think if we're able to capture that smoke, Maybe we can start to lift things off the ground. They later realized that it wasn't the smoke that caused things to rise, it was the heat and the fire that caused things to rise. So they created a little fire pit, and they created a little balloon made out of paper, because they worked on a paper mill, the McGuffey brothers, and they started seeing this thing rise off, and that was the very first thought of a balloon. And they started testing it out with uh, lifting chickens, then pigs, then donkeys, then cows. They kept on increasing the weight, increasing the weight, and increasing the size of the balloon. And they got to the point where the two brothers looked at each other, and they're like, hey, you know what? I think we can do this. And at that very moment for all of mankind, for all of humanity, that was the very first thought uh, for flight over a hundred years before there was even a thought of an airplane. And they went flying off from the countryside uh, of Paris, France uh, in 1783. And uh, the villagers had never seen anything like it in their entire life. They were like, what is this? Is this a demon? Is this a wizard tree? They didn't know what it was. They got their swords, they got their torches, they went to go attack the McGuffey brothers, but the McGuffey brothers were like, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't kill us, don't kill us, we're one of you, right? And uh, somehow or another they got out of that situation, and that was the beginning, early beginnings of uh, flight, aviation, and ballooning. And now you're a part of that history, so congratulations Thank you. on your first flight. All right, so uh, we got done with the balloon, and we are now back home almost. We just got to go inside. Uh, what did you think today? It was fantastic. It was so beautiful, and it was like being on a cloud like you just did not expect it to be how it was there's not really a way to explain it i don't know it's yeah. great it, it's it felt like a dream like there, there wasn't you didn't feel the balloon shifting or anything else you're just floating and it Flo was yeah floating above the trees like your little bird it was great it was just the scene, scene was beautiful it was nice gentle and pleasant and for someone who doesn't like heights um you you didn't feel like you were up high it was not scary yeah so yeah now we're gonna go relax and have a nice day off um thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.